I'm guessing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Went the wrong way. Huh. This ain't got to be patient. Huh. Someone else probably wouldn't say anything, but for you, you gotta be picky. That's fine, that's fine. That one false step. That's fine, yeah. Tell me, tell me. There we go. The good thing about our city is that he can play football, he can pass the ball well, and he's fit, so it makes the drill uh, go at an intense level and uh, very consistent. In this video, you will get an inside look into one of my mini camps with Matt Miazga. Matt is the center back for the U.S. men's national team. He is signed with Chelsea Football Club and is currently on loan with Reading. Matt came to me with a specific list of things he felt he needed to work on. So it was my job to customize the drills you will see in this video to meet every need. Matt is a true professional. He does not play around when it comes to his training. Study this video, watch his body language, notice his mannerisms, see how hard and how clean he executes each drill. If you're a footballer and you're aspiring to go pro, this video is a must watch. Study it, watch it, re-watch it. Hope you guys enjoy it. In this first drill, we will mix some agility with some distribution. I'm gonna give Matt three different types of balls. The first one, he has to win an aerial duel. The second one, he'll open his hips and find feet. He'll check back in, take the third ball off the chest, kill the short bounce, and find feet once more. Ready? Go! Here, we address Matt's awareness and decision making. A lot of scanning here. First, I will yell out orange or blue. Matt will press that mannequin. He'll then recover, check his shoulder, and yell out the color his teammate is holding up. That will simulate a late runner. He'll deal with the first ball. The first ball is a botched cross. He'll take a touch out and find feet. I will yell out a color. There are three goals up there. He'll find feet to the correct goal. He then must recover and deal with the second ball. He gets into a good starting position. He scans his shoulders checks for runners, and deals with the cross. This drill will begin with a little bit of technical work. Once this sequence is complete, I will toss the ball over Matt's head and press one of his shoulders. He must steer the ball away from pressure, distribute, and find feet. Once he finds feet, he must recover, reorganize his line, notice how he's scanning the field, checking his shoulders, he'll prepare for the second ball, he'll clear it, but then most importantly, get back up and find his line. Yeah, left shoulder, left shoulder. Away! Up, up, up! This drill begins with a little bit of technical work. Once that is complete, I will put my back to goal and try to turn Matt. He must anticipate my first touch and break it up. In the beginning of this drill, I'm distracting Matt with colors. As I yell out random colors, Matt must jab step to the correct marker. At any moment, I can take off with the ball. Once I take off, Matt must recover and win the tackle. Once he wins the first tackle, he has to reorganize his line, scan his shoulders, track the runners, but at the same time, see the ball. I'll serve a second ball in, he must handle it, clear it out, get his line up, and organize. Up, 
Yeah, right shoulder, right shoulder. Boy, up. Here, we test Matt's footwork and hips. Matt must shadow defend me until I randomly release both tennis balls. The first one gets released, he must react and catch it, and then recover quickly and catch the second one. Here, I'll randomly throw the crossball over Matt's head. He must react, grab it, and get back to the soccer ball. He then will drop deep, scan both shoulders, and receive. I'll take a great first touch to the left and find my feet. He then will reload his run, scan his shoulder again, and find the ball once more. This time when he opens up left, it's not on. He'll change direction, get his head up, and find a safe outlet pass. In this agility drill, I'm trying to get past Matt. The catch is, Matt doesn't know which ball I will be going for. Once I commit to a ball, Matt must recover and win the tackle. Matt must backpedal behind the ball and catch the tennis balls. I will randomly yell out red or yellow. He'll take the proper first touch and find feet. Again, catching the tennis balls, yellow, he takes the proper first touch and finds feet once more. Red. Yellow. In this speed and agility drill, Matt has to check right and then check left. He'll close the ball down and win the aerial duel. He'll recover and close the ball down once more. There are three nets up there, a red goal, a blue goal, and a yellow goal. All yellow color, that's the net he has to find. Go. Go. Red. When I yell flip, Matt must flip his hips. When I yell scan, Matt has to check his shoulder and see runners. At any moment, I can take a touch past him. He must anticipate that and steer me away. Once he turns, he has to get his head up. I will yell yellow, blue, or red. He needs to find the correct net. This is simulating him distributing and starting the counter attack. Again, this drill is tough because he must see runners as he's checking his shoulder, but also see the man with the ball at the same time. Here, I'm distracting Matt with some tennis balls. Again, we're working on a little bit of side-to-side -side agility. However, at any moment, I can take a touch past him to either side. He must react and steer me away. I will then yell red, blue, or yellow. He must find feet to the correct goal. In this drill, Matt must react to the color I say and then open up the correct way. He reacts to orange. He opens up right and he finds feet. In this round, we pretend it's not on right away. So he changes direction and swings it the opposite way. Here, Matt and I are working on bypassing lines. We are pretending that Matt's first and maybe second options are not available. Therefore, he must step up into the next line of defense and find feet. Now, we're simply just combining. The most important part of this drill is that touch right there, getting the ball out of his feet so he can efficiently distribute. We combine, he drops off, he checks his shoulders, he opens up with a good prep touch and he finds feet. In these two drills, Matt must react and perform a specific sequence depending if I say left or right. Here we work on different types of passes coming out of the back. In round one, we use the inside of the foot. In round two, we open a little bit farther and start playing some straight balls, right foot as well as left foot. In order to be a complete center back in the modern game, you must be able to score. Throughout the week, I made sure I gave Matt some different looks going to goal.
now just performing some simple technical work, nothing less, nothing more. In a lot of these center back specific drills, Matt isn't actually touching the ball all that often. Therefore, I'll throw passing patterns in like these to make sure he gets extra touches. I don't care how talented you are, you will never reach your maximum potential if you can't stay healthy. So here, we're making sure Matt is comfortable on one leg as well as two legs in all three planes of motion.